Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. I'm not doing crack. That, that, probably for your best interest, right, just Jonas. Saying. I'm just going to put that out there. Me and Jonas were uh, we were watching Family Feud last night. Oh, yeah. the, the It was like the 1970s. Yeah. Like I, I turned on some random channel game show, whatever, yeah, and it was. Yeah. And, of course, I made jokes about him being a boomer and stuff because I love doing that. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and we were just watching the attire that everybody had on the show. For one thing, everybody on the show was over the age of 40, which was oh nuts. My, I would even go to say everyone was over the age of 50. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> it was like geriatric feud. It but, was. Uh, Everybody. Richard Dawson was still kissing all of them too. Uh, just different get, time, getting a little bit under the under the uh, buzzer. Um, anyway, that sounds... get under her buzzer. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ding ding. I don't ding. know why that sounds so much more foul when you're talking about like <laughs> old biddies. We gonna speak the rest of the the podcast in uh, innuendos if you want. <laughs> oh, you want to put some uh, JoJo potatoes in her? In yeah, her but she, she, she can have my number one answer. Uh, you want right. a French fire potato? You know what I'm saying? All right, but the the whole point was like we started looking at what they were wearing, and we noticed that. Everybody was wearing a, a, a whole suit, man. It was like formal. It was like super formal, like church Sunday suits. Yeah, all the guys had suits, and all the women were in like dre- dresses. like dresses or something like that. Yeah, but all and, like I would say formal type attire. And then like a lot of times, if you look at pictures from even I would even go back to say like when our parents were. I see them. I would dressing. say the seventy, late sixties, early seventies is when that changed during the hippie. Okay, okay, that's probably when it started changing. And I've heard a lot of people say is that there's been a a a sweeping casualization of the American standard attire. Oh yeah, because everyone wore suits and looked fancy, and that's why I think the hippies had such a bad name back then because they were growing their hair long and they were wearing and they were wearing just like comfortable jeans. and jeans, and they're like, yeah. get out of here, hippie, get you know. We're all wearing suits. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and now now MFers are wearing like Winnie the Pooh pajamas and shorts to court. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, right. And like, you know what used to kill me is like, you ever been to like an, a department store and you're like, oh, uh, where's the where's your casual section? And then you go in the casual section, it's like a bunch of button down shirts and like uh, Dockers pants or whatever. And, and you're I hate, like, I hate wearing clothes like that too, man. Exactly. And I always wondered, I was like, how is this casual, man? I was like, where are your jeans at, man? Where are your jeans like, and t-shirts? That's casual. I, okay. I don't, I, I don't really like dressing up, but I will. And like, if it's business related or going out to a really nice dinner or a wedding or something like that, I'll gladly put on a shirt and tie. You know, things like that. You don't even have to wear a tie to technically be, I mean, to clean it up a little bit. Right, right. Like, I'll gladly do that. But if I have my choice, I'm dressing comfortable every single time. And there's a lot of people that would say that uh, wearing slacks and a button-down shirt is comfortable. I don't know who they are and what they like in their life, but... (laughs) I don't no, know. I what's, agree. What's uncomfortable? It's 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 another form of shirt. Definitely not as easy to put on, take off as a t-shirt. Definitely not as uh, not as doesn't have the longevity of a t-shirt. Right, a t-shirt. right, for sure. And, yeah, but. I don't know, man. Like I will always. It's so funny. Uh, I because uh, I I will always be a shorts and a t-shirt guy. Like me too. And uh, <laughs> me and Joe's were both talking about how we have like seventy five black t-shirts. Yeah, right. And I wear like mainly black. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because. It, you know, like I, I, I uh, you know, I have another job that like I work at like a corporation and, you know, like I, I, we have a, we have a dress code slack. I can wear t-shirt and shorts every single day, even when I go to the office. But like, if we go to big meetings, you know, a lot of times it's business cat. You show up, wear at least a polo and whatever, mm-hmm. which I hate, but whatever. But I, my, I, so I told someone I was, I went to a meeting a few months, like a, I don't know, half a year ago and I had to go buy business like dress clothes. Cause I, I hadn't worn anything in forever. And, uh. And I was like, I want to get to the point in my company where I can be the guy that changes the culture, where I'm like the h- most important person there, and I'm showing up in shorts and a t-shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. and being like, No, y'all don't want to do that. No, we're shorts and t-shirt around here. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, like if I got up that high in the company, that's what I would do. Yeah. I would just be like, They're like, Oh, Jonas is showing up in shorts and a t-shirt. Like, yeah, we can still do work. And we ain't got to. We ain't got to dress like we're we're in a suit, dude. I ain't. So you don't think that. It's to the detriment at all no. of of the of the of the country, I should say, because it's it's. Uh, well, I think how okay, professionalism is always going to look that way, right? Yes. But I feel like I feel it's like one of those things that you need to like break the stereotype. 
it, it, well, and this isn't like how we look to other countries. But what I what I mean by that is, it's just because a person's wearing a T-shirt doesn't mean that they can't do the job, right? And I've always been someone. I feel you do the same thing. Like you wear what you want to wear, and people can have whatever effing opinion about you they want. But when you open your mouth and you speak to them, yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, this is like. A nice person they they yeah. you know they're not ignorant they're not stupid and, they're not whatever and honestly i feel like we've made a bunch of strides to get past that like nowadays it's, it's common to find somebody in a professional situation or a professional setting who has a face tattoo who has tattoos period who well makes, right yes uh, 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 visible tattoos say. purple hair half their head shaped you know like it, any of that stuff it's it's everywhere so i think and and i don't really see like, as far as your dress, I guess people necessarily only judge when, at least if you're going to, like, an interview, did you care enough to at least put some effort into your look? I've or the clothes you're wearing nice. Yeah. Because you can wear a nice t-shirt and nice shorts. Like, they don't have to be. Yeah, exactly. I've walked into an interview definitely wearing jeans and a turtleneck. and <laughs> Looking like The Rock in 2000. I, I kind of was. <laughs> I was buff at the time. So anyway, I walk into I walk into an interview with jeans and a turtleneck, basic like in like some Timberland boots. Right. And I sat down and I had a conversation with the lady, and she said, "You know what? When you first walked in, I was like, hell no. But after talking to you for for ten minutes, when can you start?" And right. I was like, "So you were judging me by the way I looked, obviously, coming into the interview, either whether it be my yeah, yeah. dresser or whatever." And once you talk to me, you're like, "Okay, he's more than capable of doing the job." I do feel like the country is made. I, I feel like within the next fifty years, Jones, we are going to have a a president with a facial tattoo. I'm putting it up. There I don't know right if that's now. the case, but I could see. I'm telling um, you right I could now. see us Post having. Malone. I could see us having a president who like didn't wear a suit all the time oh uh, yeah yeah like like yeah. he goes out to stuff and maybe he's wearing just like a blazer and like a turtleneck underneath but i can't something. lie i i kind of i kind of have to side with the people who think that it's a little too much i do feel like it's a little too much i don't see anything wrong with the more traditional casual dress right i'm not gonna like push forward or start picketing outside of uh levi's or anything but i i do feel like People, adults, like grown ass adults, are dressing like children. Is what a lot of these people say. Um, yes. Well, see here. Here's the thing. Like You're going around in a Metallica shirt and some short pants. It's the same thing, pants. like you say, dude. You can speak however you want, but there, you're going to be held accountable. Yeah. And you can dress however you want, and you have to realize, even if you are the smartest, most brilliant person, you might be judged, and that may have consequences. Yeah. And you have to be okay with that. And that's, and I think that's where it comes from. I've been someone who my whole life. I've dressed however the hell I wanted to. Yeah. If I wanted to express myself, dye my hair, do whatever, I'm going to wear whatever the hell I want to wear. If you if you don't want to talk to me because you think I look stupid or you think I'm whatever, fine. I know I'm awesome. F you. <laughs> I know I'm awesome. That's up to you. Like, you're missing out because if you want to judge me because I have crazy color hair or I'm wearing I mean, a shirt you don't yeah. like. Yeah, and on the same note, we can say is that you might be missing out on certain opportunities Absolutely. because you don't look the part. But are those opportunities I want? Uh, if I had to never, wear a shirt and tie every single day it, and it hate goes, my life, it goes both ways. Though. Right, it exactly. goes both ways. Right, but here's my thing. Me personally, if I could have a job that paid me one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, but I knew that every day I had to wear a suit there, and everyone else wore a suit, and the people that I dealt with were just a holes, but we all had to dress professionally. That would be my living hell. I think your living hell is uh, being mandated to do something. It's not so much. Yeah, the, it's like the, I almost dress. have like op I have like a very light version of oppositional defiance. Yeah, sort of. yeah, that's where it seems like it's coming from. And it's not. And I'm not like, like I don't want to not. I'll I'll follow the rules. Yeah, like, I I 100 have a job that technically has a dress code, and I can remember when I was in college learning my position. I told my professors when I get my degree or my licensure, I will be wearing this type of outfit, and nobody's gonna tell me any different. And guess what to this day i do that oppositional attitude i'm on board with you but i do think that america needs to you know clean oh, up yeah, a little I bit oh yeah i mean i think yes i agree like i'll i mean i'll i will be the first person to run to walmart in gym shorts and a t-shirt yeah but i also and and i and that it, it, that's whatever subjective but like i still feel sometimes like 
if you're running out to Walmart and you can't take off your bunny slippers and your PJs, like that's a little much. Like, yeah, I okay. mean, that's, that's maybe a little too casual. Yeah, I feel like we're definitely in like the upper, maybe like sixty percentile of of bad, but that's like way on the end of the spectrum. Right, I'm when not you're going the... everywhere in your Mountain Dew snuggy pants. Like, yeah, like some people, some like some people have the mindset of like dress like a superstar no matter where you go. If you're like, I've heard people say, I will not go to the store without putting up on, putting on makeup and putting on nice clothes. Fair. And if that's how you want to live your life, because you want to look your best at every moment, <laughs> good for you and gr gr more power to you. My you ass is wearing these damn gym shorts to Walmart because I don't care what anyone at Walmart thinks about me. <laughs> Jonas has made this so personal at this point. It's like an attack on it's like an Get attack the hell out of here with my attack. Attack on your individuality. I know, right? I'm just saying, America, clean it up, all right? Yeah, Jay-Z yeah, got sure. us to stop wearing jerseys all the time. Yo, put up. Is, is that what Jay-Z did? Absolutely. Change okay. clothes and go, Jonas. Look it up. So I think it'd be all right for a couple of you. Go get a button down. Wear it every once in a while. Well, and I'll tell you what, man, and this will be the last thing I say, is I do notice that if you wear clothes like that out, like if you go out to the bar or go out and you're wearing like a button down or whatever, mm -hmm. people look at you different and treat you different. Uh, yeah, they yeah. They do. Yeah. thousand percent. Yeah. Like, I've been contemplating it, man, because I can admit that I don't know how to dress. I've been wearing jeans and t-shirt for a long time. Yeah. So I'm I've, I've also thought about it, too. If I could find more button down clothes that like I like how I would wear, but still, I don't <laughs> think I could be like, hey, I got to run to 7-Eleven. Let me go put on my button down. I'm just going to run to 7-Eleven. I mean, look, however you get it on in your bedroom is fine. You can have the buttons pre-button and just have enough so you only have to button like one button I've, when you put it on, I guess. Yeah, I've thought about it. Or you can have an Oxford where it just has like the, the buttons on the Oh, yeah, the I've thought about getting some, uh, some style in my mind and being like, you know what? If I go out somewhere like to go out, man, maybe I should get some rings to put on, some a watch, yeah. so, uh, like uh, some some uh, some stylish clothes. I'm just saying it don't make sense for, you know, for, for adult Americans to be wearing the same get shit out there were, peacock a little bit the same shit you were wearing in high school it just doesn't make sense but that's kind of how everyone the old people dress like that in high school so they're still dressing you like think, that you think these kids those people on family feud they were wearing suits in high school yeah <laughs> look at dude look at like 50s yearbooks 40s uh, yearbooks. Not, I, I feel you but and that's like it's what then you look at like people like vanilla ice on that show he's still wearing like still wearing like uh flat bill baseball caps and whatever he's like 60 years old yeah, well, and, the, and those people that have been wearing that their whole life that's what they're gonna keep wearing dude it's a, it's a trap man it's a trap it's like me i've been wearing shorts and t-shirts and hats my whole life and like i'm like why would i stop when i'm 60 they're gonna be there's gonna be people who are gray oh, no. gray hair dressing like skaters out here because yeah. that's what they've dressed like their whole uh, anyways and what are we teaching the next generation to, to wear their snuggies all over the place because that's what they wear all the place the pretty soon the president's gonna be wearing a snuggie Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Yep.